Hi everybody, my name is Heather. I'm the worship arts leader at FCCO. We've all experienced different seasons in our life that are difficult. We can find ourselves struggling in different ways in different times. Um, there is one thing that we will all have to face in our journeys and that is the loss of a loved one. Right now for me and for those who are close to Jeremiah Friedel, we are struggling with the loss of his passing. We're grieving. And we're grieving the loss of a friend and a ministry leader who was an integral part of our lives. So English poet and hymnodist, uh, hymnodist William Cowper described grief itself as medicine. Grief cleanses the anguish from our souls and sets us back on the path of life so we can dance. Grieving is the process God uses to bring us to a place of wholeness. Grieving is his gift to us. It is a necessary part of our journey, healing. But honestly, it's difficult and I don't like it. For all of us, we're struggling. Uh, who, whoever is struggling in the hard stuff, what, does it do that, what is it that we do to cope or manage the emotions as we walk through these challenges? How do we respond? For me, it's the truths of scripture that have been planted in my heart, some from a very long time ago. And then just a little thought of God's word rises above and as I put it before my eyes, it can encourage. And I'm hopeful that some of the ones that have been encouraging me can encourage you. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Or I can do all things through him who gives me strength or he will wipe every tear from their eyes there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the older order of things has passed away or the lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit and he says come to me all you who are weary and burdened for i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. Or he heals the brokenhearted and he binds up their wounds. And do not grieve like the rest of mankind who has no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will, with Jesus, raise those who have fallen asleep. And do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, so also believe in me. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. God bless you.